My name is Anthony DeVito, and this is the Art of Brooklyn Film Festival. When filmmakers submit their films to us, they are required to let us know how their film is connected to Brooklyn. We're going to stick to Coney Island and focus on One Wall Handball. The Nationals takes place down in Coney Island, West 5th Street Courts, and they've been playing the Nationals there for 60 years. So that was our universe. You need a, a player with ability, and then that player also has some kind of personality. Joe Durso is a 57-year-old handball legend, not only in his own mind, but in that park. And so he became sort of our tragic comic narrator. I could have done it, and I should have done it. You know, it's forget about it, how you doing? And guys answer how you doing by saying how you doing. I'm Kat Vecchio. I'm the director of This Is How I Roll. And I'm Joe Mahalchik. I'm the producer of This Is How I Roll. It's a feature-length documentary that tells the story of modern men's roller derby. Roller derby is often thought of as a female sport, and so we followed what happened when the boys wanted to play too. Uh, well, this is from Roller Derby, actually, two days ago. So I'm, I'm both a producer and a subject. We play lots of other places, but, but Roller Derby is, is practiced and, and perfected in Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn is home. I've lived in Brooklyn about eight years, and, and Joe lives in Brooklyn, our editor and co-writer lives in Brooklyn and actually grew up here, so we've, we've been a really Brooklyn-based team. There seems to be a real sense of community that you can find and people willing to share ideas and resources and support and really come out for each other's work. My name is Will McCord, and I'm the writer, director, editor of Casual Encounter. And my name's Bobby Webster, and I was the cinematographer. Casual Encounters is a film with five stories about uh, lonely people who meet through internet sex personals. Uh, it was shot on a very small budget over five years, uh, and it has a great, uh, diverse cast. And you meet great people. Whenever you make a, a low-budget film in New York, it's, it's colored by the fact that most of the crew, a lot of people will be living in Brooklyn. There's a lot of Bro uh, Brooklyn flavor that just comes into low-budget films in New York these days. Yeah, he calls himself pansexual. We ended up shooting quite a bit uh, in Brooklyn as, a, as opposed to Manhattan, maybe because Brooklynites are a little bit friendlier. Um, Brooklyn is global. Brooklyn is home. Hi, my name is Eric Trinkamp, and I am the writer-director of American Bomber. Uh, hello, I'm Michael Freeland, and I am actor and producer in American Bomber. American Bomber is a film about a disgraced ex-soldier who moves to Brooklyn to become an American-born suicide bomber. He unexpectedly gets into a relationship with a young woman, and this relationship starts to complicate his plans. And we shot a good chunk of it here in Brooklyn. Images that you couldn't get anywhere else but in Brooklyn. One of the sweetest yeah. moments in the film takes place on the boardwalk of Coney. There's an indie film scene in almost every major you know, city in America, but for some reason Brooklyn is just something in the air. It's just, it's just Brooklyn is the place to be if you really want to get into indie cinema right now. It's as Brooklyn as it gets. What makes the park on West Fifth Street great? You can't describe it, you have to go there. And I think Brooklyn is fantastic and rich because it's Brooklyn. So you just had the world congregating on this neat, island that's got an ocean and the Gowanus Canal and, and a great bridge and fantastic hot dogs. You know, it's Brooklyn. <laughs>